Well, you all know that I love writing poems. I thought I'd do one, and this is called Retirement Memories. And this is my poem. I've been retired now from football for quite a while. Some of the teams I've managed have been criticised for their style. But I've always wanted my teams to excite the fans and get them going. And most of the football played has been fast and flowing. I've managed some fabulous clubs and had some amazing times. Wrote quite a few poems along the way, most having good rhymes. Marmite, just one of the names I'm called. Colin too, I can't think why. I've also had a few battles with referees, and yes, they do make me sigh. Shankly once said, they know the rules but not the game. The quiet ones are the best I've found, whilst others seek their fame. You only hear about me being charged by the FA, which is sad. But throughout my career, I've not always been bad. They never report about after a game when I go and tell the referee he's done well. It doesn't sell newspapers or make headlines, so on this, they don't dwell. I started non-league at Gainsborough. Burton, Albion and Scarborough, all excellent clubs. When I think back to the beginning, I'm not even sure there were subs. Notts County followed with two great promotions on the trot. Both in the playoffs at Wembley. Boy, were we hot. I turned Chelsea down to stay loyal and rewarded six months later with the sack. So I then went to Torquay for 16 games to get my career back on track. Up to Huddersfield and took them to Wembley the first time in years. Then up through the playoffs at Wembley again. There sure were some tears. I spoke to Lionel P at Derby, but decided to head south to Argyle. But bottom of the league after five games, however, we started to play after a while. Eventually the Green Army got promotion after walking up Wembley Way. And when I see people in Plymouth, they still talk about that fabulous day. The first win at Wembley, memories etched forever in time. I thought we might get automatic but to win the playoffs is never a crime. Then on to Oldham and Bury, both clubs on the way down. When I see where they are today, it does make me frown. Then a call from Derek Dooley, the most wonderful man you could meet. Sent me over to Sheffield United, past my grandma's house on Denby Street. Growing up as a kid, the Blades were the love of my life. I had over seven good years on board, a, a lot of happiness with a little strife. Two cup semi-finals and promotion. I'd like to think we turned the club around. New training base, modernized stadium. It really is a wonderful ground. But fate turned against us with a harsh relegation to follow. I tried to put on a brave face, but it really was hard to swallow. But a call to come and help me please from Simon Jordan turned my head. I never thought I'd love managing in London. In fact, it was something I used to dread. But the Eagles were brilliant. Sellers Park atmosphere, oh so loud. When you walked out on a Saturday as a manager, well, it just made me proud. I love working with Simon. Always supported me right until the end. It was a sad way to leave but I'd always class Simon as a friend. On to QPR, Gianni, Flavio, Bernie, to name but a few. Very close to relegation, but we got them out of the stew. Gianni was funny, helped me a lot and always made me smile. We wanted to run a hundred yards, but it felt like running a mile. Then I met Tarbs who changed my philosophy on football at a stroke. I told all the other lads to trust me and that it wasn't a joke. And boy, did we have some good times at Loftus Road. Adele and all. We started off well, but everyone expected us to fall. We pushed on, guts, determination and quality was all there on show. They all tried to stop us, media, the FA, but they couldn't stop our flow. I could see the fans at Watford celebrating our win. Oh, what a day. 
One of the hardest jobs I've had, both on and off the pitch, I'd say. Next, click next came Leeds United. Massive club. I thought I could do well. But no chance with new owners around the corner and Ken B wanting to sell. Right club at the wrong time. Just my luck, I'd have to say. But to, to get success there at that time, well, I'd just have to pray. Now back at Palace, couldn't resist, but I never stood a chance. With people in the background interfering, they led me a right dance. QPR beckoned and I enjoyed helping out for a short time. I thought I might get them back up. Hey, positive thinking isn't a crime. And so on to Rotherham. Six points adrift, but a good group of lads. Make sure, making sure in five sides that all players wore their pads. It's amazing what team spirit can do. We went on an amazing run. 11 games unbeaten, winning against all the top teams whilst having some fun. Tony S was a great chairman. He asked me to stay, but I got the bug again for another promotion. So I left to make hay. Didn't know where I'd go for months, but just wanted a chance to gain that eighth promotion. And if I did, oh, you'd see me dance. Cardiff it was. Agreed over breakfast with Mehmet, the place I'd go. But first we had to stay up before we could put on a show. And boy, did we do that. The club united at last. Great place to be. Bluebirds flying high once again, leaving everyone else at sea. Promotion was wonderful. Happiness in abundance and joy all around. The town was buzzing. You couldn't wait to get to the ground. Premier League was cruel. Decisions against us were so bad. And then the Emiliano tragedy. Everyone there was so sad. I don't think I recovered at Cardiff until I was leaving. It seemed to me all the time that we were grieving. Then I got the call from Steve Gibson to go and help them out. The pandemic was on us all and I felt it my duty to shout. Zoom calls to the press to keep all our fans happy and in the know. Nearly two years of this dragged on and on, oh so slow. But I built a good side, as good as any I've had. Some great professionals there when I left. It was sad. So that's it now. If you're still listening, well done. My career in rhyme, good and bad. Yes, we've had some fun. To football fans everywhere, I'd say it really is a wonderful sport. Stay disciplined and behave. Don't sell yourself short. Take care, be lucky. See you soon.